Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we are going to be trying out this Chevy Silverado 3500 Duramax powered wrecker for the very first time. Now, we've gotten a report of a pickup truck a little bit further up the highway that seems as though it just went off the road through the trees and basically nose first into the river. Now, whether the dude just completely lost control or fell asleep or got ran off the road, we have no idea. We the, the dude is supposedly fine, but the truck is still there, and someone needs to retrieve it. And so that's what we, that's where we come in, and that's also where this truck comes in. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and fire this thing up, get on out there, and see what this situation is all about. I love the way this thing sounds, by the way. And I think also, when you have it in tow truck form, with that hood stack, oh dude, the hood stack, the bumper, it just absolutely completes the package. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know right off the bat that this wrecker body is actually a separate mod, although both the truck and the wrecker body are by the same mod creator. The truck and the wrecker body are both by Glitchworks. Now, the wrecker body is gonna be the GWC wrecker body, and this is one of the GWC Desperado models. This is the 3500 model. Now, if we go a little bit further on down the highway, we should find what we're looking for. Now, we need to be looking for tire tracks that lead off the road, out through the woods, and in the direction of the river. And if we can find those, we should be good to go. Let's see. The second we find tire tracks, we'll know exactly what we're... Oh! I think I see something. Oh, God! Where did... I see a trail right there, or I should say a path that was left by who knows what, but, I mean, God, the dude's lucky he didn't hit any trees on his way down here. I mean, this is like... This is gnarly. I find it hard to believe that he was asleep, because if he was asleep, he would have hit that tree, that tree. I mean, who knows? Unless he's like some kind of sleep driver is... Oh, my God! There it is. So it's like, bro, <laughs> it's down there. Holy crap. It is down in there. Oh my God. It is all the way down there. What the heck? All right, let's go ahead and turn the tow rig around and get everything lined up where we need it to be. This is going to be a little bit trickier than I thought. And it especially depends on whether or not that thing's engine still starts. Which, honestly, with how deep it is in the river, it probably doesn't. So let's go ahead and put you in reverse, back you up just a little bit more, and then bring you around forward. Alright, I need to get everything lined up the way I want it, because if it's not lined up correctly, I very well could just get it lodged on a tree, and I don't really want that either. So let's ease it on back. Now, stop it right there. <laughs> stop it right there. And I need to get, like, bro, this is, like, for the tow company, this photo's amazing. See, we rescue all situations, or, well, we rescue from all situations, at least. Man, that's a, that's one heck of a situation, though. I mean, that guy really is legitimately in the river. All righty, then. Let's see. How close should we actually get to him? I don't necessarily want to put the tow truck at risk of falling in, either. So I'm going to put the tow truck in low. And then, I'm gonna actually control the boom, and I wanna say, yep, it's, come on. Oh, that's as low as it goes. Okay, so that's as low as the boom goes. Now, if we go from here, straight to the rear hitch, I'm gonna give it some throttle. Whoa, okay. All right, we got some front weight on this bumper, but I don't know if it's actually gonna be enough. Cause like, dude, that is, that is in there, though. I mean, look how in there that is. All right. Oh, my God. All right, all right. We're not going to do that. Nope. We're going to get the tow truck up onto some solid ground and then pull it. It was a little bit of a little bit of an oof of us to go all the way down there. But, like, man, that's going to be a really, really long line. All right, let's see if we can fish this guy out. Come on. Come on just a little bit. Just a little bit. Man, that thing is in there. It's coming, like, ever so slightly, but man, is it taking a lot. Dude, the tow truck is, like, freaking out. All right, let me back it up just a hair. 
What the heck am I winched to? I meant to winch to his back bumper. That's what I thought I had winched to, but apparently that was not it. All right, a little bit. Let me adjust just barely. All right, now pull. Okay, apparently I really need a new strategy here because, oh my God, it's rolling away. Apparently this strategy is not working. All right, then. I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to go really low with this winch line, like really low, and we'll see if that kind of helps us out. That actually helps us out a bunch. Now, let's see if we can fit the truck between these two trees. Almost there. Just about got it out. Nearly, nearly, nearly. Not bad. And we've got it up out of the river. All right, so I'm going to tow it back out to the road. And then I'm going to check on that engine. Because I want to see if the engine still runs. Or if it's so badly, like, flooded out that it can't even start anymore. Let's see. Because that's obviously going to factor into a lot of the repair of this truck. And it will probably need a new engine. If it's that badly, like, flooded out, it's probably going to need a new engine. All right, let's pull you out to the main road. And then I'm going to go and hop in it and check it out. All right, so let's shut this thing down and hop in this truck. Actually, the engine's not that bad. Okay, so it does run. Meaning that what I can actually do or what I should be able to do is I should be able to just turn this thing around and then I'll get it hooked up to the tow truck. Yeah, it's actually, it actually still runs fine. It's got a little bit of engine damage, but not so much to the point to where I would be like, oh my god, that's a big issue. All right, so let's go ahead and pull you up right here. I'm going to put it in neutral, and I'm going to make sure that the handbrake is off, and then obviously the engine is off as well. So now, let's go ahead and make sure to fire all this up. We'll get you hooked right, uh, either or at the front. And then, control boom. No. There we go. Lift it up. Come on. Oh, what? Okay. The boom is weird because it doesn't always want to do exactly what you want it to do. Let's get you off the ground just a little bit. And now, we're going to make our way back to the garage. I got to be smooth and easy with this. Because if I'm not smooth and easy, things go very bad very quickly. Now, obviously, when you have the off-road four-speed, you're a little bit smoother than when you have the highway six-speed. So, for towing purposes, that's why I tend to stick with the four-speed. Because, again, the four-speed is really predictable. It's really easy to use. And for the most part, this thing is actually towing really well. Now, let's actually get on the correct side of the road. Because uh, being on the correct side of the road is actually kind of important. You kind of want to make sure you do that. All right. Easy does it there. Let me go ahead and I'm also going to turn these lights on to let everybody in town know because obviously there wasn't really any traffic earlier, but eh, there's about to be some. At least there's bound to be some around the town area, or at least if there was or whether or not there was, at least we have the lights on. So we're good there. All right, going past my house. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and pull into the garage real quick. And now that we're in the garage, or at least nearby the garage, Let's go ahead and uh, we'll drop this guy off right here. And dropped off. Perfect. And now let's adjust that boom. No, stop it. All right, let's adjust that boom down. And it doesn't go down very far, but we'll adjust it all the way to the bottom of its adjustment. And then we'll turn the beacons off. We'll go park the tow truck. And then we'll go ahead and push that, uh, that Colorado into the garage. All right, let's get you parked up over here. And then once we get the Colorado into the garage, we can kind of fiddle around a little bit with some fixes and improvements. So I have gotten the green light to go ahead and uh, throw a couple of upgrades on this truck, throw a couple of modifications on it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do a slightly tuned engine, nothing too crazy. Uh, we're not going to throw boost at it, just a little bit of a tune. And then gearbox wise, we're going to throw, we're going to keep the five speed default in there. We got a small lift kit. We could go for like an extreme lift. And honestly, that's not as extreme as I figured it would be. So we'll do that. And then let's see, I want to stick with an all terrain, but at the same time, I want it to be a little bit bigger. So I think what we'll do in that respect is we're going to go with a, what does it have on it right now? It's got the 31 inch uh, GWC all terrain. Now, there's this GWC. There we go. 35-inch GWC all-terrain. That looks much better. We'll give him a uh, we'll give him a high-powered winch because, uh, I mean, he might end up needing it. 
And let's see, uh, we'll do these step sliders. I'm gonna leave the front bumper alone, and then what I will do is I will throw him some, well, I don't know, that, uh, I'll leave the spare tires up to him. And then snorkel, he's definitely gonna want that. And then, let's see, uh, light bar, we'll throw a light bar up there. Yeah, why not? And then wheels-wise, we'll go with, uh, I like these. Uh, these FF19s, I like those a lot. And then we're gonna obviously leave the color as it was. And now, we're gonna park this thing outside the shop. So it's ready for him when he comes by. Should be coming by tomorrow to pick it up. So let's see. I'll leave you, uh, I'll leave you parked up right here. It's a good looking truck. It is genuinely a great looking truck. I love the way these trucks look. I really, really do. Like, both in game and in real life. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know your thoughts and opinions on it in the comment section down below. And if you're new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on. And I will see you guys next time.